Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to BTNX. Today we have an exciting topic lined up. How to extract stock data from Yahoo Finance into Google Sheets. If you are someone who is into stock analysis or finance, this tutorial is going to be extremely helpful for you. So let's dive right into it. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day to day life? What if I tell you that you are wasting 95% of your time while you are doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you are not using ChatGPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. But before we move forward, I would like to tell you that BDNX is offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description. We'll talk more about it later in the video. So extracting stock data from Yahoo Finance into Google Sheets might sound complicated, but trust me, it's quite simple once you get the hang of it. First thing first, open your Google Sheets if you don't have one already, you can easily create a new one in your Google Drive. Now, we'll need to install an add-on called Import From Web. So, for that, you have to go to Extensions. Here, we have to click on Add-ons. Then, Get Add-ons. So, I'm going to search for Import from web. So here is the add on. So this add on is from no data, no business. So this add on imports data from any websites into our spreadsheet using a simple function. Okay. So to install this add on, we have to click on install. Here we have to click on continue to give the required permissions. So here I'm just going to use my Google account. Here I have to click on continue. Then I have to click on allow. So we are done installing the plugin or you can simply say add-on you can see the add-on in extensions as you can see import from web web scrapping in google sheets so let's use this by using the import from web add-on we are going to get the stock data from yahoo finance so here you can see here i have a few companies like uber lyft reddit so we are going to get the market cap dividend dividend date eps bid day low day high volume earnings day short ratio so before that I would like to tell you one important thing which all of you need to know. AI is taking over the world in such a short span of time. We have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI and whatnot. You don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well, AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will. If you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our two hour Microsoft Office using AI Tools Workshop in which we will teach you about the best AI tools to upscale, increase your productivity and enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now. Now back to the topic. So here we have a simple function which we have to use to get the data. So we have to type import from web. 
okay then here we have to choose the link then so we need this data right we have to select this thing market cap dividend dividend date so you have to select all these things okay so here i'm just going to click on enter it will take few seconds to get the data as you can see we got the market cap then eps then bid day low and day high so it started at around uh, 63.84 then uh, it ended at 67.2 then the volume earnings date so you can also just uh, paste the same thing for other companies also so for lift you can see this is the market cap and uh, this is the eps bit so the day low is 17.29 and day high is 18.4 and this is the volume and for credit you can see the market cap then bit day low and day high and the volume so here you can also check for plenty of other things so here you can see i'm just going to select industry so if i change this thing you can see all the data is getting reloaded as you can see reddit is a company from internet content and information domain and uh, lift and uber from software application domain so this is how you can import uh, data from web in our case we imported it from yahoo finance so with this extension you can import data from various sources as you can see here you have uh, solutions and demos okay so you can import data from amazon google search google maps youtube ebay instagram yahoo finance so you can experiment yourself and explore these all things by yourself and that wraps up our tutorial on extracting stock data from yahoo finance into google sheets if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more informative content also make sure to check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you